So hi, I'm here uh, to talk to you about visualizing data on IPFS. I'm from Galaxy X here in Austin, Texas, and um, and yeah, let's just get right started. Uh, so let me use my clicker. So yeah, this is a 15-minute lightning talk, and I don't know if we're gonna quite make it to 15 minutes, but we're gonna do our best. It'll probably be pretty short. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go over some useful properties on IPFS and why to look at those properties. And we're gonna take another look at some of our um, tools that we have. And then we're gonna look at some questions that we're asking that we want insight from you guys about. Um, so yeah. So yeah, um, the question is like, what data is, is useful on IPFS? And so, as IPFS is getting much larger, as we've heard the past couple weeks, terabytes of data are going on, IPF, on, on Filecoin and IPFS every day. Um, having tools to manage that amount of data is super important. And so um, as, as these uh, scales move up, having tools to support those scales is really important. Um, so the types, the reason why you wanna know the types of data on nodes is because that determines how you configure them. So if you have a configuration that needs a bunch of uh, software files, um, those files look a lot different than video files. And so when you're working with video files, your configurations are different, your work, your everything's different. And so <laughs> essentially understanding those differences is really imperative, especially when working on IPFS. Um, so, so one of the ways that we've made it easier for companies and users to use IPFS is to see what is on their IPFS nodes. And so this is a tool that we've created. You can download it at the Chrome store. Um, it connects to your local IPFS node and using a tree map function like, uh, like disk recon and wind your stat, you can basically just view and see what is on your IPFS node based on the size of the files and based on what they are. So um, these are JPEGs. This is a software payload. Um, so yeah, you can organize and visualize data based on that. Um, there's a bunch of other visualizations that are super important to look at too. Um, and especially with IPFS, we see a lot of those formats everywhere. There's data in IPFS on um, everywhere. So coming up with better graphing, drawing, um, is going to be super important. And so, yeah, we're super proud to have one of the very few tools that work on IPFS in the Chrome Store. Um, so another tool that we just recently shipped a couple, like, couple days ago, um, we saw this idea on Twitter. It's basically like a link tree built on IPFS for, use, like, for user management, uh, for data management. So. As we were building this, we realized, like, okay, like, IPFS is really built for this. And so, essentially, all you do is you go to our website, um, openlinks.io, one of our websites, um, you add links, and what will happen is, once those links are added, your, your page that I guess, your, your set of links is exported in an HTML document to IPFS, and then that document is hosted on IPFS for anybody to view, and so, yeah, this is like our introduction into like how to manage data on a mass scale quickly using IPFS. Um, so yeah, like as there's certainly like so much more to come um, in terms of managing uh, just with, with open links it's super simple. You're just managing one, one little website in a set of links. So managing much more than that is like a big priority and figuring out how that's done is um, super important. And so one thing that like Juan and the community is talking about is how do we do user permissioning on IPFS? And how do we do, how do we have read and write privacy? So like how do you know when uh, something, or how do you know, how can you retrieve information from a network and the network not know about it? That's like a big, um, that's something really important that if we can figure that out large scale, that'll be huge. Um, so yeah. Uh, so big questions that we're asking like everyone that we can talk to is like what data do you guys use on IPFS? Like what, what is important 
what connections do you guys want to make with that data? And, um, and yeah, and also the hard questions, like what do permission, permissionless systems look like? What do, um, what does Git on IPFS look like successfully? Um, working large scale, not just small scale in a private um, IPFS implementation, but a mass, mass scale working on Filecoin and kind of collating the ecosystem. But yeah, sorry, my presentation is super short. I think that's it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. <laughs>